Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make face expression detector. So I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm just going to draw a happy face here. So I'm going to draw his eyes. And then I'm going to draw a happy face. And then when I scan this, it tells that it's a happy face. And now if I draw a sad face, I draw his eyes. And then let me draw a sad face. And let me tell the to scan. And it tells that it's a sad face. And now let's make it. So let's make the drawing part. So I'm just going to delete the sprite and then make a new one. And this is going to be the end. So I'm just going to leave it empty here. And then let's take the pen extension. And then when I click, I should be able to write here. So let's take a green flag, the green flag option. And then let's take a forever block. So if the uh, mouse is down, we should, uh, we, the pen should be down. And I think I should use an if else block, not an, not just an if block. So if it's in the else condition, let's just make it pen up. So when I run the project, I should be able to okay, I can draw. Maybe let me make the pen size to like five and I'll make it pen down at the starting. No, so I need to I need to add the uh, go to mouse pointer go to mouse pointer. Now I should be able to draw and and uh, okay. I, I I don't think I need the pen down here. I need a pen up here and take a erase all at the beginning. Okay, and then let's set the pen color to black okay so in the backdrop so i'm going to make a square where we're going to write the face faces so i'm just going to draw a square make the outline a bit bigger and make the inside part transparent and i'm going to drag it into the center make it a bit more bigger like this and put it there. So now we need to make two lines that's gonna detect the happy and sad face. I think I want to make the square a bit more bigger. Okay, a bit bigger. I think that's enough. So now let's make a line. Just going to make it in blue color, like this. And now we need to make this line go So we just need to make a happy expression by making a curve with this line we're just gonna clone it in a curve so it would be the happy expression and then when we write when we draw the mouth here it's gonna detect that so let's just make that so so first I want it to face in this direction something like over here 135 minus 135 and I think that 
9 is too big. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Not bigger, smaller. I made it bigger. Okay. Make it a little bit smaller. Like that. Okay, I think this is enough. Then I'll just put it there. And then I'll just move it a bit over here. So it's not touching the border. So now let's take a repeat block. And then it should move five steps. And then it should rotate this way. And then let's take it, let's uh, add five there. See how this goes. I think I need to increase the steps to 10. Now let's see how it is. Uh, Wait, I think I need to um, make it go backwards again. I actually no need. I'll just uh, reposition it here. Make it minus 135. And then let's set the position. So I'm going to set this position and 19 degrees minus 35. So it's not supposed to go there. I, I change this to minus on this. Let me change back to 5. And now it should go like that. And let's repeat it 20 more times. I need to click this. Okay. So, okay, I think that's better. Now I just need to clone it like this. So, okay, that's how it should work. And I think I need to make this a little bit more down like i need to make it 150 okay i think 150 is good yeah i think i need to clone it a little bit more so i think i'll make it 25 uh maybe 24 times yeah 25 is better so now let's make this into a block so just going to make a new block named happy because these lines are going to detect whether the face is happy. So let's put it here. And whenever we click this, the line should draw. And also you need to add the uh, run without screen refresh. OK, so. Now let's do the same for the sad face. So just need to duplicate this. Okay, and now I'm gonna rename this to sad. And I'm also gonna change the color of it to red. Okay. And then I'm going to make this one's, uh, this one's uh, angle, the direction to this much, I think. And I'll put it right here. So let me take the go to block and delete this and take the new position and attach this back. And I think that's going the wrong way. So, I I just change this with the anti-clockwise direction and make this one into 5. 
Now let's see how that works. Yeah, that looks good. And I think I'll change the direction to something like 60. Um, not 60. What about 30? I think 30 is better. Yeah. Okay. So now, now, now let's take a green flag option and detect whether the face is happy or sad. So when the, when the green flag is clicked, if, uh, what color is the pen? Okay, black color. So, if the uh, sprite, I mean, I should not take a green flag option when, when I start as a clone. If the uh, if the clones are touching the, I'm not touching. I should take the touch color. And it should be the pen color. Okay. Then it should delete the clone. And also let's make a variable. I'll delete this variable and make a new variable called happy. And let's click okay and we have to set happy to zero at the beginning. And then here we need to change happy by one. Okay, so I think it works. And also I need to add this one here. So whenever it touches the line, it should get deleted. And also, let's uh, set the set the ghost effect to a hundred so that we won't be able to see it. So, set ghost effect to a hundred. We won't be able to see it. And you can see when the uh, when the lines are getting touched by these, the happy. I mean. I should change it to sad because I'm making it for the sad detecting. So sad. Okay, so the variable gets increased when I when the pen touches the sprites. Okay, so now I just need to do the same for the happy sprite, the happy detecting lines. Okay, and instead of this sad block i have to replace it with a happy block and i'll put it right here and let's make a new variable happy and let's uh, set happy to zero at the beginning and change happy by one and now in the backdrop Let's say, like, when the green flag is pressed, and if the if the uh, space is clicked, I think I'll take this one. So if the space bar is pressed, so forever. So if uh, If the happy is uh, the happy is greater, if the happy is greater than sad, which means it should say that it should say it's a happy happy face. So let's add the sad here, and then let's put it here, and then let's make a new variable face so this is going to be the result of it's going to be the result of the 
okay it's going to be the result so then we're going to set the face to sad i mean happy happy and now if sad is greater we have to make it sad okay now let's see how it works so let me draw the um how did this line come okay so um i think i need to take this and duplicate it put it i think i need to just put it in the forever block all right i'll just put it at both of these if and else okay now now it should not be a problem right yeah now it's not a problem so now i'm gonna draw a i'm gonna draw the eyes and then i'm gonna draw a happy face and then when i press space bar you can see that the face tells that it's a happy face and it is a face a happy face so now let's draw a sad face and the um, variable remains happy okay now when i press space bar it tells sad okay so i think at the beginning i will set face to nothing and I'll also hide the happy and sad variables and let's change this to a large readout and put it right there and that's it if you like this video please subscribe and click the bell icon thanks for watching